Hello and welcome everybody to the Animal Eye Guy. Today we're going to talk about a condition called uveitis. So uveitis is an inflammation of the inside of the eye. Um, can happen in all different species, so in humans, in cats, in dogs, uh, in horses, in rabbits, you name it. Um, and it and it can manifest in in very very different presentations so some some animals are not painful at all um, some animals can be quite painful some animals can have uh, vision impairment it can involve the front of the eye it can involve the back of the eye or it can involve the front as well as the back of the eye um, depending on which part of the eye involves and whether or not one or both eyes are involved uh, we start worrying about different things one of the things that we worry about, particularly if both eyes are involved or if the back of the eyes involved, um, are systemic conditions, so systemic diseases. Uh, that can be anything from an infection, uh, a generalized inflammation, an autoimmune disease. Um, certain types of cancer can trigger uveitis, so it's a, um, a whole array of different diseases that can trigger these types of things. In some cases, we experience or we see uveitis in one or in both eyes, and we never find a reason for it. We call that idiopathic uveitis, um, and unfortunately, it's quite a common thing, particularly in cats, but also in dogs. So uveitis can can be triggered by many, many different things. Um, a knock to the eye can trigger inflammation in the eye, um, all sorts of infections, bacterial, viral, parasite infections can trigger uveitis. Um, generalized autoimmune disorders can, can trigger this disease. Um, there's a, a whole array of different types of cancer which can manifest in the eye and present as um, uveitis. So the reasons are endless. Um, a lot of the times we search for causes of uveitis and um, all the tests come back as negative um, and then we class that as so-called idiopathic uveitis or uveitis of unknown origin. Um, not really. Um, I mean, there are certain conditions that can trigger uveitis, uh, one of them being um, a condition called uvu dermatologic syndrome, which we see um, quite often in, in Nordic breeds, uh, in, a, in Akitas um, or in Samoids. And this is a specific type of uveitis, which usually involves the back of the eye first um, and then has a knock-on effect into the front of the eye. Um, but uveitis is such a broad term that any dog, cat, um, any breed of, of, of any species um, can develop it. So there is not a clear breed predisposition for the general term of uveitis. Yes, they can. Um, and if both eyes are affected, uh, we generally are more concerned about uveitis being um, the one of the symptoms of a, of a systemic disease. Um, so we'll then go to great lengths to try and find out if there's an underlying problem. Um, sometimes this can be quite arduous and, and we may have to do extensive blood testing, CT scans, all sorts of things to try and find out where the source of that uveitis is coming from. So uveitis is generally considered a, a medical condition so um, and, and there's a whole variety of different medications that we can use for the treatment of uveitis. Um, we tend to use um, eye drops, mostly in cases of, of uh, uveitis in the front of the eye. Um, if there's inflammation purely in the back of the eye, eye drops don't work as well. So we then tend to use um, oral medications. Um, the, the, the most commonly used um, medical treatment for uveitis is corticosteroids. Um, so prednisolone or dexamethasone. It can have some side effects um, and that medication will only be used for as long as necessary and at the dose that is required. Um, but it is one of the most potent medications to try and help um, improve uveitis. Uh, we sometimes also use other medications such as non-steroidal medications such as uh, Metacam or, or Rimadil or Onsior. Um, there's 
other medications, um, eye, eye drops, which are non-steroidal, such as um, Yalox or Acular, just to name a few medications. There's a, there's a whole different variety. Um, and we, we oftentimes mix that in with, with antibiotics if we're worried about infectious cause. Uh, we sometimes add in medications to help dilate the pupil, so open up the pupil to stop it from getting stuck in a very small position. Um, so the, the medical treatment plan needs to be tailored um, to what we see as a problem um, and needs to be tapered and adjusted accordingly. So uveitis that is left completely untreated will likely result in blindness at some stage. Um, if uveitis is purely in the front of the eye and is ignored, um, it's likely to develop a condition called glaucoma where the pressure in the eye goes up, um, which can be blinding and painful. If you've got chronic inflammation in the back of the eye, that can cause uh, things like detachment of the retina or a, a cataract. Again, this can permanently blind the patient um, and in some cases cause um, signs of pain as well. So not an ideal condition to, to leave untreated. So hopefully you found this uh, in, uh, video uh, useful. Um, if there are any questions, any comments, uh, please feel free to, to drop a comment below. Thank you very much.